appreciate God so much for cheese that my data I need this money where I want to principal of the very repeated age Nima Gion High School. This is an opportunity for me to receive assistance from Dream in Color Foundation Matera, who have come to our aid. When I first took over from the school, I really, really cried to God to get this assistance that he ran away to us. I came and then nothing. All of the chairs, everything was broken. And even the students to get them, it was not easy. But by the grace of God, the few students were able to get no seat for them to sit. And I began to ask God, I will manage to get the chairs in. I just put it in prayer and I just left it. So all expecting it, I was not in office that day. And we have a visitor here. So we're calling you, we're unable to get you. Uh, we came and we did video of the building and the chairs and other things. So he said he was going to come back. And by the help of God, he never just said it. He said, I'm going to come back. Other people can say, I'm going to come back. You will never lay eye on them. But he said, I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back. It never took a week. Right now, as, I, as I'm speaking now, the flow is down. As you can see, the place is painted and the chairs are in process. So we are so much grateful to God for this, this group and more especially Chief Tamatera and to Sis Abigail who have connected us with this great man. I want to be so grateful to the organization and I pray that God will touch your heart to do more because there are more that we need to give a quality education to our children. Liberia, we lack of um, quality education facility in our country. Our country is down. So if you hear me, if you get the passion to help other people to come out to bring children up, to give them knowledge, God will bless you. I want this place to be a high school with laboratory. I want all the things we lack of. If you just get a child or even you want to give a lesson, you have to go education ministry, go look for uh, uh, compare leaflet uh -huh. before you come to give the children known. So every people you have to do that. Every people you have to do that. But when we get the book, with the book, the books that we get, we'll be able, even the children they will be able to make their own research when you send them to make a research, they will be able to make a research. That's how we need to learn. Who to reach to a mission level. It's my dream. And once again, my name is Moni Waya Wanta. I'm Eris Wanimle. As the principal said, we've been trying for a long time to get students better. People are willing to come, but there are some people, as we try to bring them, they want to go back. And so this year, the principal encouraged us and we went out to get some students to try to mobilize them, and they agreed to come. And yet and still, there are other students that want to come. Yes, but the building and the seating capacity was very narrow for us. And it was one day when my sister Abigail went to me in the class. She went to consult me for something. And I asked her, I called her attention, says Abigail, because I know that she had contact. And I got in contact with her, I asked her, I said, Abigail, you see the, the sitting capacity of our students. Can you please talk to one of your friends to help us at least with 50 chairs so that our students will be able to have seat to sit? And she said, oh, Brother Eris, I will try. And after a few times, she came to me and told me, oh, I got in contact with one of my friends and he will be coming, which is Mr. Chief Tama Taylor. May God bless you. I want to say God will bless you for whatever you have done. Every, every cent that you have spent towards this place, God will double it, will give it back to you. 
and when Abigail told me, I was so excited. I was excited and I didn't know what to do. And when she called me that tomorrow morning the man will be here, I prepared the students and everybody was on time. Everybody was on time. I went on the road to receive him. And when I saw him, I said, wow, God, you have done it again. It was not Abigail really that done it, but it was God who have opened that door for us to receive you, Mr. Tamatero. God bless you. I want to say you are a great man. We thank you for whatever you have done. And even the job that you want us to do, everything is going on, everything is perfectly going on. And so we say thank you. May God bless you. I'm happy for you. Hi, everyone. I'm Abigail Daly. I'm presently at the AMU University, a proud student from West Point. I want to share this story to the world. When I was in West Point, I was attaining at an elementary level. I was attaining the Wayne Peter A. Grima, where Chief Damatilla is presently helping right now. The school has been suffering from a lot of things since my elementary year and now I'm in the university. I realized that the school does not have a bathroom. The school lacking chairs and the building is not renovated. Which of course a godly star every day passing by the school is something I plan on doing. When I first heard about Chief Tamatino at the Bill Roger Youth Foundation and I heard of some of the good things he has done within Liberia. I played on meeting over three years, but I couldn't get to 